Rubbish is on the rise, and there's an underground army fighting against an increasing tide of waste. <laughs> Dog crap and muck. They're claiming time and a third for this. And that toilet's not a bleach down it since it was fucking made. They're a fearless lot who come face to face with dirt and vermin every day. It's an old one. It's gone hard, that one. It smell really bad. A lot of maggots have been eating it from the inside. And clean up what we don't even want to think about. Oh, I've rushed that soil it, lads. <laughs> oh, that's a nasty one, isn't it, girl? Is that you, is it? No, it's not. Ah, uh, do you all see that? It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. These are the Dirt Busters. The Dirt Busters fight a daily battle against filth, but this lot refuse to let the waste win. Meet Steve Malloy, Oldham's Playboy Rat Catcher. Oh, yes. That's an albino rat, that. House clear as Barry and Steve tackling Warrington's worst kept flat. Well, this is just disgusting. There's no need for it. And drainage guys Carl and Billy are up to their arms. <laughs> In poo. <laughs> Three jobs, one purpose, to clear up after us. There's never a dull moment when the Dirt Busters go to work. <laughs> Oldham has a rodent problem. Thousands of rats, mice and squirrels are living in its homes and drains. Based at the rodent nerve centre is the main line of defence. Steve Malloy, rat enemy number one. Rats, rats, mouse, mouse, mouses and mouses again. Mouses, mouses, mouses. 23 year old Steve has been trapping rodents since his teens. Today he's been called out to deal with rats in a loft. When they ring you up, they want you to get your flute out of your pocket and start pied pipering it up. No street name, great stuff. It hasn't been a national record of achievement that. Steve's crap at lessons, but he wants to be an environmental health officer. It stops at 23 then. I'm just trying to find out where 25 half on Crescent It only goes up to 23. I absolutely love my job, pal. Won't swap it for the world, I tell you. Apart from centre forward at Man City, but. Are you on fit and ill? Alright, they didn't put it down here, I'm very sorry about that. Bleeding women in the office. Basically, I've always wanted to do it, so I'm living the dream now. And it's brilliant. <sighs> Bollocks, that. Live that dream. City. Good afternoon, pest control. How are you yeah. doing? It's about yeah. your um, little friends. Yes, right. two. Two of them? Yes. Where are they? They was in the loft. It's put them in a bin bag. They're in the top of the bin. Top of the bin, right, yes. okay. Right. It's an old one. Lovely. It's gone hard, that one. They smell, smell really bad. Yeah, they're oh. horrible then. Oh. Yeah, they've got no body inside. Everything. Same with this one as well. Oh, it's not a nice smell. Hot maggots have been eating it from the inside. All it is, is basically, is just the fur. I don't like anything like that anyway, so, no, I don't like them. Steve does. OK, my dear, just come and have a look in your loft now. Yeah. On his way up to lay some poison, Steve finds some old droppings. Old rats, old droppings. This might not be a current problem. He lays a few traps, just in case. Brilliant. OK, Thank right, you very thanks much. for your time, anyway. Right, have you got any more problems between now and then? Just give us a call back and we'll be straight out for you. Oh, Warrington Council owns over 9,000 council houses, but this is the worst. The tenant's been evicted for non-payment of rent. He couldn't be bothered to clear up, but someone has to. Clean-up team Barry Walsh and Steve Holmes have just been given Warrington's worst job. Best of luck, lads, and... Right, thanks. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> thanks for ruining our Friday, buddy. <laughs> From the outside, it looks like a normal council flat, but the inside's another matter. Rubbish and dog poo everywhere. It smells bad enough, doesn't it? Yeah, it's turned. That's because the old tenant locked his dog in for days on end. Oh. Is it in the kitchen? Bloody hell. Got a feeling we'll be here most of today. 
the old cliche of a scale of one to ten, I'd give this eleven minus one. <laughs> this is just disgusting. There's no need for it. The dog is uh, blameless, isn't it? It's the idiot who had it. The cleanup begins, but it's dawning on Barry this is no run-of-the-mill job. I say about ten bins altogether. This. What's in there? Now? There's old bags in there, isn't there? Mm. Oh no, it'd be more. It'd be about 12, 14 or something. <laughs> back in Oldham, it's three days later, and Steve is back to check on the rats in Helen Duffy's loft. Hello. Hiya. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah. Up in the loft, there's no sign of activity. Seems it might just be old rats from months before. Not been on the traps. It's not looking like they've gone near it. But. Or is it? Oh, oh, there's one. Right. Right in the corner. That's it. I'm off. It looks like it's deteriorated yet another old one. As it's got no eyeballs left. It's smelling a bit. Oh, sorry. Gotta go. Turns out it was just another old rat rotting away in the loft. Nice. Right, any more problems, give us a bell, yeah? I will do. Thanks a lot, Thanks, love. Thanks, Steve. Ta See ya. Job done, but Steve can't resist having another look in the daylight. Maggots. Lovely stuff. If you think maggot-ridden rats are bad, try and block in drains and toilets. It's a dirty business, but drainage guys Carl and Billy love it. No, what we say to them is we had the shite this morning, isn't it? They've both been in the game for 20 years. We don't want to be going back to jobs, you know what I mean? We've yeah. got pride in our way. But they know it's not the nicest job in the world. So we call it RAF, don't we? Rough as fuck. Off we go. Rock and roll. Battered crocodile twice. Yeah. And make it snappy. <laughs> <laughs> Their first job today is a big house with a bad smell. I'm Billy anyway. Hiya. Hi, Hi Um, What's your problem that you've got here? Oh, we've got the most horrendous smell. It's absolutely right. horrendous. It's coming up from the basement. We have tried everything. Yeah. Like a dead rat smell? Uh, yeah. yeah. It could be a dead bad. body. Yeah, it's know. a dead body. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you smell, can you smell it? it? Ooh, I can yeah. smell it. It is bad, isn't it? Now, as you can see, someone else has had a go, but they've not solved the problem. Yeah. It's just so horrible. It's making me feel ill. And uh, we can't have anyone to stay. It's sewage. It's got to be sewage. Absolutely horrible. The lads have to work out where the blockage is. Every manhole's got to come up. It only takes a bit of uh, the sewage, you know, to be stuck anywhere to get the bad smells. And as I say, just checking that every drain in there is all clear, you see. There's all shies, not in this dropper, you know? Yeah. All avenues exhausted, the lads have narrowed it down to the septic tank. But first things first. I don't know if you know, but it's tasty work getting down in manholes, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you mean yeah. you do tea? If you don't mind, yeah, two sugars in, man. Billy, she's got a Rottweiler. I know, I know. Nasty <laughs> sugar. I'll hold him back, I'll hold him back. <laughs> nice uh, house, though, isn't it? Really big house. Come here for that holidays next year. Yeah. Shame the drains don't work, though. Know, yeah. Back at Warrington's worst flat, it's two hours in, and Barry's got the famous question on his mind. Who lives in a house like this? My experience, this kind of dirt and that, usually you get when people are alcoholics, you know. But uh, I'd just say it's somebody who's un very untidy. <laughs> He's right. His next door neighbour is none the wiser. He was always pretty quiet. Went out a lot, left the dog on its own. Knew the dog better than him. <laughs> he used to put Bones through to feed him when he hadn't been here for a couple of days. I can't understand why this fucking telly and video there. Because you no, can't live like this, can you? It. Just sit down and watch it. You get your Sherlock Holmes head on at times, you know what I mean? And think, well, how come this and how come that? And, and you just think, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Let's clear it. He's been evicted, so, you know, it's obvious that his time's run out and he's just done a bunk. He's left it all, he's got no use for this anymore, you know. Was how much was he owing? Yeah, 1172.86. What a money that, and no wonder he's uh, been evicted. <laughs> I've gone for a game of golf. Satellite receiver. Unbelievably, the goods in the house are probably worth more than what the tenant owed in rent. Shame, but by law, they all have to be dumped. 
100 quid, I bet, you know, 100 quid's worth. Going, going, stop. <laughs> and that's just one bag of CDs. There's TVs, DVDs, videos, not to mention loads more CDs just dumped. It could all have been sold to pay off the rent. What a waste. Yeah. Well, maybe not. I have a tidy house, you know. Wife's very tidy, I'm tidy, and all of us who do this job are tidy, you know. We just don't understand how people live like this. Well, it pays me money, so, you know, that's, yeah. that's all I'm bothered about. In a way, I'm glad there are people like that. Back at the big house with a big smell, Billy and Carl have realised they've got to go into the depths of the septic tank to clear the blockage. A couple of measures of goldfish there on the top here. Yeah. Floating around. Yeah. Looks like curry as well, lad. Yeah. Yeah, so the vindaloo with a two onion barges by the looks of things. Billy decides to take the plunge and climbs into a tank full of about six months worth of sewage. Gallons of human waste are just inches away. Eventually, they hit the jackpot. Loads of poo. It was a bit of a sewage in there. Been jetted out, just cleared the line. It's just a case of us tracking it all the way back now to each manhole. Then hopefully the smells will be gone then. For it. And to be a happy chappy. It's cleared now, we've flushed it all through for you. Brilliant. And uh, your place is smelling the roses then. Coming up on Dirtbusters, our drainage boys tackle another domestic dollop. Oh, that's a nasty one, isn't it, girl? Is that you, is it? No, it's not. Steve comes face to face with another dead rat. Lovely stuff. And we reveal the man who has to clean up this. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Have we got a hammer? Can we, <laughs> can we break it and put a new one in? There's a rat problem in Oldham, and there's only one man for the job, Steve Malloy. How many more have we seen? He's been called out by Mandy McDonald to deal with a set of cheeky rats. Looks like a rabbit, you know, or a guinea pig just running around. And the other day, my partner went out, and it's like they're just running around the garden, no fear or anything. It's just awful. There's plenty of droppings in here as well. I'm going to put a trap down here for them. Steve's on a mission. He's laying traps and poison just to make sure the little sods don't get away alive. If you have any more problems or there's any on the trap, Give us a ring back, we'll come out straight away for you. That includes the weekend as well. That includes the weekend as well. No problem at all. All in a day's work. Enemy of the rat, man of the people. Back in Warrington's worst flat ever, Barry and Steve have been hard at it for four hours. And they've not even started on the kitchen yet. Mr Muscle. Yeah, it was. Mr Muscle kitchen cleaner. That's taking the piss, isn't it? Don't rile these boys. Penicillin. <laughs> Not pissed off doing dishes. Clean this day. <laughs> dishes in, in cupboard. <laughs> in the bowl. Hey, I'll tie that myself. Foot spa. Any old iron. Yeah, it's like a generation game sometimes. You're taking stuff out of the Cuddly toy, foot spa. <laughs> good game, good game. I think what would be really nice now is if we can get this carpet rolled up, uh, put it on the van, get this room clear, and then we've, we'll feel like we've achieved something, you know. And we're on the home straight then. 20 miles away in Oldham, Steve's back to see if he's got lucky. I'm gonna see if it's taken any bait and see if they're on the traps. Hopefully they are. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, all, right. all right. Let's come to check on your poison and stuff like that. <sighs> right, they've touched a little bit of the poison. As you can see, it's been Moved about. Let's have a look at the traps we've set. A quick look. Oh, yes. That's an albino rat, that. I haven't seen an albino one for years. Ooh, there we go. Something unusual. Well, it had a little feed before it went in, anyway. We'll just leave that there for a minute. Let's have a look inside the other one. Another surprise. Ooh! Another albino one. Ooh, look at that. We're going to put it with its mother now. Disgusting. It's quite rare, actually, to see the albino ones, to be honest with you. It's the first one I've seen this year, anyway. Poor little ratter. The only problem is with people 
think they're really cute now. They've got that many diseases riddled with them. The plague, the bionic plague, which killed everybody in the 1800s. Also, rat bite fever. If a rat bites you, can give you tapeworm, ringworm, fleas and ticks and everything. Could die off it. So we'll put them in a bag for you, take them away, we'll set the traps for you again. Like I said, hopefully that should be it, but you never well, know. I'm open as well. Just stick that in here. We don't want that bionic plague. Well, they're going to the big sewer in heaven now. Oh, at least they're together, eh? It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm just glad that they've been caught and they've gone and he's took them away. And I'm just hoping that if there is any more, he catches them tonight. Back in the flat, Barry and Steve are finishing up after seven hours hard graft. Just a big stuff, a quick sweep, and it's done. They can start their weekend. Looking at this now, it's you get a bit of like a sense of like something well done, you know, when you realise what it was like first coming in. You couldn't move, could you? And now, you know, it's empty. Wonderful. The house is transformed, but the bog still needs some work. Uh, it looks like dogs been sat on. I don't know. Yeah. It, must be, it must have been an agile dog. I'll be claiming time and a third for this. <laughs> it's beyond cleaning that. I mean, that toilet's not had bleach down it since it was fucking made, has it? <laughs> I think we're done. All I can say is I'm looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> Oh, it's somebody else's problem now, that one. Nice. On the outskirts of Warrington, Billy and Carl have been called to a common domestic problem. It's a blocked toilet, but there's a twist. So, yeah. This is what they call a floater in the, in the trade. She just turned down and uh, said to us on the phone, uh, it's not mine, no, I'm very embarrassed Easy. about it. She went, I've had work, he's there. We always <laughs> get that. Hey, my ass. What sort of subject you want to really talk about? Well, I always try and put the bodies and say, listen, at the end of the day, love, the green uh, shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, we all the do it. The nicest possible hey, way. We all do it. The toilet's backed up and there's a little present on top. But who's to blame? Whoa, that's a nasty one, isn't it, girl? Is that you, is it? No, it's not. Uh, who are you blaming for that? I told you on the phone I had to wait for money this morning. Ah, uh, do you all see that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just check your manholes around, see if you've got any blockages uh, in the manholes. OK, then. Oh, it's a nasty one, that. It's definitely not a woman's one, put it that way. Not the size, but it's like a shark. <laughs> Our connoisseurs of crap check for any blockages in the drains. Spotless. If they don't find anything, it must mean the blockage is in the toilet. Um, and then depending on what that shows us, one of us is going to have to put our hands down. Uh, we'll have to toss a coin for that. <laughs> Who done it last time? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm sure it was. I'll get me double-headed here, coin out, lads. No sign of a blockage. No. It's going that way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The results are in. Oh, well. It's hands yeah. down the bog time. Right then, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Heads or tails? Gives me mask. <laughs> Don't see if there's a gauntlet, there, Carl. Go ahead. Be appreciated, like. A gauntlet is an arm length rubber glove for just this job. Let's hope they've got one. In Oldham, it's a week later, and Steve's back to find out if he's killed off the last of the albino rats. He checks the poison for clues. None took. It's clear. So far, so good. Yep, another one on the trap there. Good stuff. Bingo. Another one. It's time for the classified results. Lovely stuff. Steve Free, rats nil. In Warrington, the time has come to clean the world's worst toilet. And that honour goes to Billy oh, of the final clean team. <laughs> Billy, that's your job on the toilet, oh, mate. No. <laughs> Have we got a hammer? <laughs> can we smash Can it? we break it and put a new one in? Uh, tell them you need a new toilet. <laughs> you and I might think this is a nightmare, but to Billy and Derek, it's nothing. Just don't bite your nails. See him there. See him see with the toilet's full up to the top. Absolutely solid. <laughs> Five minutes, no Billy. Now his hands right down there, he loves it. <laughs> Derek's right. 
There's no messing about. Billy gets his hand into the poo as soon as he can. These lads are all dead at this. They don't hang around. Look at him go. Get in there, my son. Just break it down, break it down and keep at it until it's gone. Ten minutes later, the house is spotless. <laughs> the transformation is amazing. They've even got the toilet clean. Not like the one in Warrington. It's still backed up with the floater on top. Carl has to unblock it by hand using a protective gauntlet, but there's a problem. <laughs> I can't find I the gauntlet. I was going to say that. <laughs> isn't any. I can't find the gauntlet, lad. Oh. I'm, I'm going to have to go beyond and all above the Call of Duty now and go for a skinny dip and tie. Go on then, lad. Rather you. <coughs> in for the penny, in for the pound. <coughs> Oh, it's chock-a-block. Oh, no way, lad. I've just had something to eat as well. There you go. Right now, he wishes he'd tried harder at school. Oh, it's all too much for Billy. He needs some fresh air. Rush that toilet, lad. <laughs> oh. Anything coming through? <laughs> no. No sharks? No. Is, it, is the toilet going down, yeah? What? Is it going down, the toilet? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I hey, didn't wash my hands off me, all right, yeah? Why have you never done nothing? I know, but... Yeah, I just feel sorry. For I'd attempt anything, but I would never attempt to touch anything like that. You know, I'd try my best to... But well, that was just... It made me sick, and they made me sick <laughs> doing it. But it's clean now. And that's the job done on another dirty old day for the Dirtbusters. It's a nasty one, wasn't it, lad? All dead. The dream's been lived. Feel better for that now. <laughs> Next week on Dirtbusters, things are bubbling under for Billy and Carl. Steve Malloy's on the trail of a pesky squirrel. And Richard Wright is on Dog Poo Patrol. <laughs>